Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another fantasy football video. My name is Nick here at Fantasy Phenoms, and today I'm about to go over five wide receivers that I personally don't want on my team in the 2023 to 24 fantasy football season. At the end of this video, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. All right, so the first wide receiver up on my list today is going to be Mike Evans, and there's actually a lot of reasons that I prefer not to pick Mike Evans this year. First one being that the quarterback of this team, at least for the beginning of the year, should be Baker Mayfield. It could be Kyle Trask later on, but at the beginning, we got Baker Mayfield. He has been anything but consistent on the Browns, on the Rams, on the Panthers, any team that he's been on. He'll have a couple good games here and there, but for the most part, he's not the most consistent guy. And you want a team that, one, scores a lot of points, and number two, is consistent. Neither of these are true for the Tampa Bay Bucks. If you're talking about a wide receiver on the Bucks that you might want, it's going to be Chris Godwin just because of the fact that he gets a lot of screen passes, hangs out near the line of scrimmage a lot more than Mike Evans. Last year, we saw firsthand Mike Evans is the guy to run deep routes for the most part, while Chris Godwin, like I said, will stick around the line of scrimmage. And then you got Rashad White, who was a rookie last year, who is going to be catching a lot of screen passes and taking the pressure off of Baker Mayfield if this offensive line doesn't perform well just like it did last year. I do expect the offensive line to get a lot better because these guys are great players if they are healthy, but they were not healthy last year. They're coming back into their own. Now you guys might make the counter argument, well, if Mike Evans is going as wide receiver number 33 and you can get him late in your drafts, why wouldn't you take the risk on him? Well, it's pretty simple in my opinion because like I said earlier, they're not scoring a lot of points on the offensive end. The quarterback position is up for grabs and it's not a consistent player. And then even Mike Evans himself is not the most consistent. He had a lot of drop passes last year. I don't know what was going on with him and Tom Brady. Maybe that was just a chemistry type thing. But the year prior to that, the two years prior to that, they looked good. So I don't know what to say about Mike Evans. I'm just, uh, I'm passing on Mike Evans. If you have a chance to go out and get someone like and Jigba, a rookie that could be explosive on an offense that scores a lot of points, I'd much rather have uh, one of those guys than Mike Evans. Next player up on this list is going to be DJ Moore. Not the worst schedule in the world, but also not the best. This year is going to have to be huge for Justin Fields, and he's got to throw the ball a lot more for any wide receiver on this team to be worth a draft pick in fantasy. We saw last year exactly what happened to Darnell Mooney, and if that is even close to the same outcome that happens to DJ Moore, then I do not want any part of this offense. There are so many better options out there of wide receivers that you know are on teams that will score a lot more points. And I want teams that are gonna throw the ball a lot more if I'm drafting a wide receiver. I don't want a team that could go a game with under 15 pass attempts. That's, <laughs> that is not what I'm looking for when I'm drafting a wide receiver in this league. On the opposite side though, we have seen that DJ Moore can turn a bad situation into a good one because he has performed well in certain games in Carolina when they've had absolutely nothing going on. DJ Moore will have an amazing game out of nowhere, but the lack of consistency with DJ Moore is something that's turning me off, along with the fact that the Bears haven't shown that they're gonna pass the ball a lot just yet. We'll have to see in this upcoming season, but for those reasons, I do not want any part of DJ Moore this year. Next up, we have Michael Pittman Jr. Listen, Michael Pittman loves to sit near the line of scrimmage which is a big problem unless you're playing in PPR leagues. If you're playing in standard leagues, then that is the biggest turnoff ever. PPR leagues, it's a bit better, but the big games for Michael Pittman are going to be so hard to come by because he's going to need, you know, 12, 13 catches to eclipse that 100-yard mark. There were so many times last year where he would get around 8, 9 catches and end 14, 15 PPR fantasy points and... That's like 60, nine catches for 60 yards a lot of the time. And then the bad games that he had were really bad where he was barely scoring any points. Now, I know Matt Ryan is not there anymore. He was like an old man at quarterback. So you might be thinking he, he couldn't even get the ball out of his hands in time. So how are you going to blame Michael Pittman? There was a lot of situations where Pittman did have the passes thrown to him and they were right on target where he would just drop a bunch of open passes. That is not what I'm looking for in a fantasy wide receiver and once again i want a team that's going to score a lot of points and i want a consistent team with a consistent quarterback now i know that they just got anthony richardson so that should definitely add another aspect to their game hopefully that will you know rejuvenate the offense just a bit hopefully get jonathan taylor going uh with him at qb now 
but the offensive line was absolutely terrible last year and three out of the five guys are coming back in this upcoming season now, i don't know how well this offensive line is going to do this year hopefully they do a bit better than last year but for those reasons i'm not the biggest fan of michael pittman jr next up on this list is i guess i'll talk about two people on this team the atlanta falcons drake london and kyle pitts everybody was you know raving about drake london in the beginning of last year and then what happened the falcons completely stopped throwing the ball to him i don't know what was going on he's clearly the wide receiver one in atlanta but they just drafted Bijan robinson so you gotta think that they're going to run the ball as many times as they possibly can down their opponent's throats in this upcoming season then you got tyler algier that's going to need uh, a bunch of touches along with Bijan. this is clearly a run heavy team and until i see otherwise i don't want anything to do with them drake london is such a talented wide receiver and kyle pitts is an insanely talented tight end if they get the targets they will thrive it's just a matter of the play calling on the offensive end is it going to go in their favor I don't see things changing. Like I said, you draft B. John Robinson in the first round, you're going to use him as much as humanly possible. And this is definitely going to be a run dominated team once again in this upcoming year. One last thing about Drake London, the targets last year were so bad for him. He had under 10 targets in 14 of 17 games last year. And you obviously need targets to produce in the NFL. So I think that goes hand in hand on why I'm out on Drake London and or Kyle Pitts this year. Last but not least on this list, we have Cortland Sutton. Purely based on last year, we saw when Jerry Judy was not playing, Cortland Sutton could not produce. And everybody was going high on Cortland Sutton. They were saying, Cortland Sutton is going to be the wide receiver one here in Denver. There's no doubt about it. But turns out Jerry Judy was the wide receiver one in Denver. And they had a horrible year last year while Jerry Judy had the best year of his career last year also they have the fifth hardest schedule for wide receivers in the league so not really the greatest situation there but russ has to play much better than he did last year if Cortland sutton or jerry judy is going to have a better year in this upcoming season anyways guys if you enjoyed this video drop a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new i will catch you in the next video peace